Hello, beautiful creatures. Hey, Guess baby. who's back? Mama back. Say hey, mama. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, Feeling baby, a lot baby. better. We got all her medications together. And I guess within the adjustment, uh, bringing her here, um, they had some medication screws up. So that's why she wasn't feeling as well. But we got all this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It gets, it gets real. So I said, I'm going to record it. Maybe I can help somebody while I am learning. Mm -hmm. So I have her medication case and I was sitting here doing some uh, readings, but of course I had to stop and do real life because I have real life. And so we have morning, noon, evening, and night. And this one I broke off because this will kind of let me know, hey, it's time to refill. Uh, yeah, just, I'm weird like that. Alrighty, so first of all, we have potassium chloride. Take one tablet by mouth every day with food. So we will put this in the morning and she'll wake up and she eats, she just eats like a, remember cornbread and buttermilk or just like a piece of toast or something in the morning. Oops. Put that in there. This is the real deal. Okay, so we got the chloride. We're gonna run out of room here. I'm gonna pass this on so I can make sure I'm seeing her. Alrighty, then we have some hydrolazine, 50 milligrams. Take two tablets by mouth three times a day with food. So these are two tablets. Three times a day with food. So basically that's a hundred three times a day. So we'll put two. Morning, noon, and bedtime. Oh, the one crack time is in the other one. Oh, I'm just glad we got all of these. So, how y'all doing out there? I hope everybody's doing okay. Thank you for any prayers. Um, I was really nervous when my mom went in there. My baby. Shout out to all the mamas out there. We have children in their 30s. <laughs> or my 30 year olds who have children. Help us. Help us, Lord. Especially when we have teenagers. Ooh, special prayers to mom out there who got teenagers. Don't they work your nurse? Especially now, they can't go nowhere. Mm. My teenager, I'm steady. Figuring out stuff for them to do. I think they're out painting one of them, cleaning the grill. I'm just finding stuff for them to do. And they're doing um, adult coloring books for my background. They're coloring pages for my background. So I'm just making stuff up. Gotta make stuff up for them to do. All right. And this is average statin, 40 milligrams, one tablet by mouth at bedtime. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a lot, guys. Deluxe attain. Take one capsule by mouth every day. Now, see, I'm on a journey to also getting my mom holistically. This is a lot of medicine. I just don't feel good about it. However, I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell her what to do. So we're stopping smoking. Waiting on the vapes. Watch that video. Drinking lots of water. Eating healthy. Along with that, I do believe she won't need a lot of these medicines any longer. Um, Exorbide. 60 milligrams. Take one tablet by mouth every morning. So I'm going to put, because there's a lot of medication. So sometimes I split her morning meds. Because she wake up early, early in the morning. Like 6, uh, 5, 7 or 6, we give coffee. And then we, you know, she might go back to sleep and then she'll wake back up. And so I put those like with the noon medication as long as she takes it one a day. Just to kind of break it up so she she's not like taking 20 pills all in the morning. It's just a lot. The doctor said that was perfectly fine. Because it's one a day. It doesn't necessarily say what time. The only ones that we have to give, um, I mean, it says morning, but this is still considered morning because she'll go back to sleep. As long as it's earlier in the day, if that makes sense. Okay, now some of these are multiple because we already had hydrolazine. Okay, forzamide, 40 milligrams. 
and I have to look and make sure that I haven't put it twice. <laughs> I know we did the Hajjah with the possession, so no, we have not done for me the right. We take one tablet by mouth every day. So yeah, I'll put this one in the morning as well. The potassium. I mean, not potassium, fluoride. Is that one or two? There's two dropped in there. Okay. Oh. Okay, she already put the hydrolazine in there. She's not ready. I have to watch her. You know, the old people, they be trying to mess with their medicine and fix it. And they really be messing it up. So I have to watch her meds every day and make sure she's taking the right meds out. Okay, we did that one. Now, Aberstatin, we already did. Exorbide, we already did. Um, I know we didn't do this one, which is ap Aprizol, two milligrams. Take one tablet by mouth daily. So yeah, I'm gonna put this one in that new one. I don't really use the evening time so much. Um, because it's easier for me to remember with meals whenever it's time for her to eat that it would be time to take her medicine. So basically like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just when I do that. Um, I am med certified. I had to take a med certification class in order to be able to distribute her medications. At the house. I'm not disclaiming, but I'm just saying. Disclaimer, but I'm just telling her. All right, and then I'll pull them all. Make sure no, we didn't already do that. I'll pull them all. No, we did the average step. Okay. And this one is take one tablet by mouth every day. And put this one in the morning. Morning. I do like to give her most of her medicine in the morning because I just feel better. Because I know she's got all in there, but I've been trying to break because it's a lot of pills. So I break it down into the early morning and then noon becomes like later morning after she wakes up again. Because she'll go back to sleep and she'll go about 9 or 10 and then that becomes noon for us. So about 9 or 10 in the morning is my noon. I pull it all in the... Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, and then... Hydrolazine again. She's got a lot of blood pressure pills because the blood pressure is the main problem. So another hydrolazine. I like to make sure we keep lots of that prednisone. Take two tablets by mouth daily. So we'll do morning and night. Ooh, she's almost out of those. Um, morning, night, morning, night, morning, night, morning. Okay, so I just put the pregnancy on the side, make sure I call and get some refills. Uh, Trimadol, take one time a day by as needed. And then normally give her this at night. It would be a night time. My nails are so long, sometimes they slide on my nails and I end up dropping two off. All right. Okay, Cephalix Ceph takes one tablet by mouth twice a day. And these look like the other ones, but the other ones were blue and these ones are green. It's a lot of new medicine and I am not liking, so join me here on this on this journey with her as well. I'm living the art of tarot. I'm pulling on ancestor spirits. I'm praying. I'm tapping into essential oils, a new healthy way of living and just eating in general. And I'm doing that as well with my mother now that I've gotten her outside of the nursing home. Um, so hopefully she will not be taking this much medicine. So it'll be, it'll be cool to look back on that. This one's almost out. I've got one more, so I'm going to need a refill. This is Deluxetine. We've already done that one. I believe we were done. Uh, no, Metroprolanol. We haven't done this one. And this is take one tablet by mouth every day. So I'm going to put this one in the noon. Guys, this is just disgusting me. I'm just like, oh my God, Mama, why do you have 
so much medicine. Not saying medicines aren't good. You know, I'm just more holistic. And the only time I'll take medicine, like, literally, I'll get NyQuil or Mucinex or something like that if I'm just, like, dying. But for the main part, I just, I can't take too much. Ibuprofen or something like that. Nitroglycerin. She only needs to put this under her tongue. Um, she has had open heart surgery. And she has had um, stents and stuff put in her heart. So anytime she's having any chest pain, we have that nitro to slip under her tongue. Oh, that's all pulling all. We already did that. I think that's most of the medicine. For smile, yeah. This one, metropolinol, we just did that one. And for smile. Yeah, so we just have some backups. None of them are outdated. They're still all 2020, like this one. You can see it's 2020. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's still 2020, but like, I just, um, now that she, they, she had medication, um, and then her doctor just wanted to make sure she had enough because, you know, we can't go anywhere. You never know what's going to happen if things shut down and we can't go anywhere. He wanted to make sure that he had um, more medication. So shout out to Kenzie's Pharmacy. They do bring all of this stuff to our door. Oh, no, I'm keeping these out because I need to call. Um, they do bring all of these medications. Y'all look at this. This is sickening. But, and I'm going to get, I have to find a way to get her off of this. Through tarot, through praying, meditation, these things that I'm learning. Oh, my God. Oh. Well, it's really like double. So I guess it's only really half of that, right? Maybe I'm over exaggerating. Alrighty, she got all her medicine taken care of. She's all big, got her in the hospital, got her washed down and everything. Okay, yeah. So now look, it's going to be cool. And if I, I wonder if I can show y'all. So this is just like an example of like all the medicines that she takes in the morning. There's like five or six pills. And then if I didn't break it up into the noon, it would be like 12. It was 16. We got some of that down and then she has the ones at night. And then I have these three that I believe I would call and get refills and make sure we're good on. But yeah, I just wanted to bring y'all into that because I'm living the art of tarot. Like, I wish I could just be in my cards all day long. I live for my cards, but unfortunately, I have to come back down to earth and, you know, work and take care of my mom and my kids and cook. I'm just a regular person. I can't lie. I'm not regular. I'm spectacular. I'm beautiful. I'm amazing. And you are too. Thanks, beautiful creature.